today we are going to learn about INDA investigational new drug application NDA new drug application ANDA abbreviated new drug application through the developmental stages of the drug let's say we through the high throughput screening through high throughput screening we came to know that this is our lead molecule assume that this is a lead molecule once we got the lead molecule we are going to test the lead molecule on the animals for that we are going to conduct preclinical studies after conducting preclinical studies if the drug is found to be giving successful results then we'll move on to the clinical studies let's say i want to conduct the uh, drug clinical studies in india or in america for that i need to give an application to the regulator called ind application that is investigation new drug application why it is called so because i am going to investigate the drug on human being i am going to investigate the effects of the drug on the human being hence it is called as investigational because it is a new drug hence it is called as new drug application so i want to fill investigation new drug application before conducting clinical studies in any of the country with the regulator so the regulator will ask you to fill an investigation new drug application now what is the information we need to give for the ind application is the information pertaining to the preclinical studies next we are conduct clinical studies the clinic uh, clinical studies are successful now now i want to sell the drug in particular market for the drug to be sold in particular market i need to fill another application called new drug application because the drug is new i want to sell that drug into the market i need to fill an application through the regulator it may be fdr anybody we need to fill new drug application what is the information to be given in the new drug application is information pertaining to clinical studies so information pertaining to clinical studies we need to give into the nda application now the drug came to the market the company got uh, its patent on the drug after 10 to 15 years once the patent is expired once the patent is expired now why company want to manufacture the same dosage form let's say our dosage form is tablet what dosage form will contains it contains excipients and drug this x company who is the inventor of this drug will not share the excipients information what is the amount of excipients what are the different types of excipients been included in the tablet for the preparation of new drug it will not uh, share this uh, information with the y company it will share only the drug molecule the excipient information is not shared with the y company so y company after the expiry of uh, uh, sorry not expiry after the patent expiry of this drug y company also will try to manufacture the drug we call it as generic drug so y company want to manufacture this drug as a generic drug what it will do it will take the drug it will add its own excipients and their combination then it will try to punch the tablet the dosage form is tablet now they want to sell this drug into the market now because drug is old already drug is drug has been done all these things so because the drug is old only they are uh, preparing it as a generic drug generic dosage form they need to conduct some studies according to regulators that is bioequivalence they need to prove that the drug is bioequivalent means what the bioavailability should be more than 85 percent with the innovator product this bioavailability should be 85 to 85 percent 80 to 85 percent equal to the innovator product then only you can sell the drug into the market once you conduct the bioequivalence studies now to sell that generic drug into the market you need to fill an application called abbreviated new drug application why it is called as abbreviated new drug abbreviated means cut short you are going to cut short all this process you are not going to follow all this process for this new drug you are going only conducting bioequivalence studies for the new drug you are cutting short all the processes hence the application name is also abbreviated new drug application what is the information you need to give for the abbreviated new drug application is bioequivalence studies information 
after filling this application if the regulator says okay then you can sell the drug that generic drug into the market i hope you understand thank you